Moving on now, in Pakistan, English is overtaking Urdu as the country's official language. In fact, young people especially are shying away from Urdu, and experts fear that language may no longer be used in Pakistan. From Lahore, Hena Saeed with this report. It was meant to unite Pakistan. Urdu was chosen as the country's national language, as unlike regional languages such as Punjabi, it didn't belong to any specific province or region. But now it can hardly be heard in Pakistan, all thanks to the global pressure to adopt English. We have been told that if you learn English language, internationally you will have a better market value. From nursery rhymes to university courses to the workplace, the use of English has overtaken that of Urdu. English is a compulsory subject in schools and a medium of instruction, while Urdu is an optional subject. One reason few Pakistanis speak Urdu despite it being the official language is that Urdu is the mother tongue of only about 7.6% of the population. It may also be a matter of perception. Educationists say globalization has made English a more attractive option for youth as compared to Urdu, which is associated with a more backward culture. Urdu is not our ident identity. Most of the Pakistani, they feel shy if they say that we don't know English language, but if they say that we don't know Urdu language, they say it very proudly. They did not adopt it at all. So what's the use of making it just a national language when nobody is proudly using it at all? Thank you very much for that, Nafi. It's much appreciated. And even where the use of Urdu is promoted, English still creeps in. I think we do promote our national language, but then again, do you speak uh, in Urdu entirely in your day-to-day -day life? You don't. It's colloquial because times have changed. As far as the question of talking in English is concerned, I think it has more to do with RJs. I think they love talking in English, even though if half of them don't really know how to pronounce certain words. To restore Urdu to its intended position in Pakistani society, some experts recommend an Urdu-based examination system at the intermediate level that not only tests the language, but elements of culture and religion as well. After A level and O level, we should have a minimum test in the language, culture, and I would say also religion, that after passing that examination, you go to the further class for the bachelor examination. It is said that a nation that does not respect its history and language soon loses its individuality on the world map. In the case of Pakistan, experts fear that the national language Urdu may become defunct very soon if proper policies are not designed by the government to make it a compulsory element of the country's education system. Hina Said, Channel News Asia, Lahore.